What's up guys? So today's video, I just wanna go ahead and do a hopefully quick little video. It's been about 3,000 miles since I've last drained the oil catch can on this truck. If you guys haven't seen that video, I installed an oil catch can, a billet one, um, but it was basically a replica of the expensive one that you guys see everywhere. I'm not gonna mention the names, but basically, it was just a cheap replica one that I got off eBay. Ran me about 50 bucks or so, but it's just as effective as the other ones. You just had to upgrade the hoses basically, but it's been on there for about 3,000 miles. My truck was at 104, thousand miles 104 thousand and like 500 miles and now it's at 107 thousand and 500 miles since that last uh inspection that we did so i'm curious if this thing's gonna be completely full you know barely anything we're gonna go ahead and find out right now um i was at the end of my oil change interval so that could affect the results slightly because um when you have uh oil that's kind of at the end of its life it tends to kind of do some funny things as far as the oil catch can is concerned so we will see i guess what's in there and i have a clear bottle that we're going to go ahead and use so i'm going to drain it into here and we'll see what we got okay so let's go ahead and pop our hood catch can is down there let's go ahead and situate that bottle in there and drain it All right, so here's the results of what came out of there. So this is how much out of an entire water bottle that we caught after 3,000 miles. And like I was explaining before, um, it basically just kind of looks like watery oil. It's, I wouldn't say that this is oil because it's so thin looking, but anyways, that's the gunk that came out of it that would have went back into the engine. And like I was explaining before, my engine is higher miles. So over 100,000 miles, like I said, it's at 107,500 miles right now but that's the gunk that came out of it. What I was explaining before is tendency, there is a tendency for oil to break down a little bit more when it's at the end of its uh, service life. So that was uh, basically right before I changed the oil not too long ago. So, so you're seeing the worst of the worst of as far as what it would capture, but I do think it's a worthwhile investment to have one on there. I mean, for 50 bucks guys, to have a catch can on there and catching that junk instead of throwing it back into the intake and burning it, maybe coating your intake valves and in, inside there, I think it's a worthwhile investment, but that's up to you guys. I'm just here to show you guys what I'm finding and the rest is up to you, whether you guys choose to do it or not, that's on your hands. But as always guys, if you have any questions on this stuff, the install, you know, you guys want me to check it at different intervals or stuff like that, let me know, cause I will uh, for you guys. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Make sure you're subscribed ton of content hell ram is on the way we're getting this thing situated we got a bunch of other stuff i got some spark plugs and stuff we're gonna have to change we're gonna have to go to colder step spark plugs for the supercharger but also have jba shorty headers coming too for it we're gonna do the install on that so a bunch of prep work before the supercharger goes on but as always guys thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video take care